myself Shankar and today we are going to speak about uh, the video optimization and why it is important for your marketing strategy and how can you take it for the further level with the basic steps by adding them to your site or as well as your video channels. This is what I'm, I'm, I actually work for a healthcare develop, development portal where we provide information over mobile, internet, and tablets for free of cost, which is including even videos where people can subscribe over online. Last month ago, the Economic Times made an analysis where it been mentioned that more than 50% of video views, this is coming to YouTube, was being based on the mobiles. And there was another analysis also which is uh, done by Cisco, which I'm going to share at the ending of the presentation where it's been mentioned. Approx in the upcoming years, the video views of the people from the channel videos will be increased more than 70% globally. This is the analysis which has been taken uh, for last month. Over 800 million views has been million unique users are going for the YouTube globally and the source which has been taken has been already mentioned here and uh, not only that and yesterday I had a chance to meet for, with uh, one of the two of the YouTube people where they clearly mentioned that uh, <coughs> just uploading the videos to your channels or just making them clickable it's not, it's not going to yield you greater results you need to work much more levels. Now why video? Video is uh, there was earlier times where internet was been heavy pricing and now we can take uh, for example if we just go to the data packet center for any Airtel or Vodafone you can just uh, get it for approximately 50 rupees a 3G internet connections where even faster and then if you just looking for the desktop version you can just uh, get the act for example act which is a uh, reliable for the consumer level so you can get the unlimited of broadband usage for the lesser price and the more devices which is coming out to the markets which has been more accessible and we can just where well, people can stream over the videos or content or whatever the methods they want this means uh, indirectly directly i can tell it's having your videos only for the desktop users or the PC users doesn't make any sense more. You need to work out much more further to make it more usable for the tablets or mobile users which, which you want to take it to the further next levels. As I earlier said, uh, uploading the videos is uh, one of the other strategy, but for, you should for always follow the best practices which is uh, always good to you people for your channels in the longer runs. When anybody can tell, not anybody, any, everybody can tell the number one search engine is always the Google. And the secondary one is the YouTube, which has been ta taken over by the Facebook. The first one is Google, and second one is the uh, YouTube, which has been overtaken by the Facebook last month. And a lot of people use, come and see every day, approx for 46,000, more than 46,000 people uh, per second. This is will, for example, no, it's not example, it's a true fact that more than 46,000 people are going to the YouTube channel to search any type of video content. It may be the music, it may be the service, it may be the product research or any type of content on the channels. These are the unique users or the... <coughs> These are the unique users. This, uh, 800 million unique users per month for the globally and this is the 46 uh, just a sec I'll just show you 50 percent this was 50 percent of unique users as has been used on mobile devices this is for India and whereas this 800 million uh, is for global 
where they can, the amount is been mentioned here, where they can share, there is a sharing and the looking over the <coughs> mobiles and everything. Asia is the one of the largest country where people are using the mobile channels, <coughs> so, um, sorry, video channels over the mobile. In a simple uh, steps, we can just tell the video optimization, you can just adding the name of the, the main target keyword in your title of the tag and adding watermark, adding RSS feed, <coughs> adding tags and sharing these things. The, you know, it's a simple matter, but when you come to the each and every level, you need to work it little more further things. Nowadays, uh, when we can tell, there are many sites where they can, uh, where you can upload a videos and you can share it over the to the third parties. For example, Widler, Vista, and everything. But if each and every uh, channels or site or uh, programs have pros and cons for your video marketing strategies. And opt for example, uh, optimizing your video in YouTube is uh, one other method, but optimizing for your videos in your <coughs> own website is a d uh, different other methods. <coughs> Uploading, ch uh, the men always make sure that your v channel or a brand channel where you can tell in the wrong run, which is always your front page of what you are or what your company brand do should be always in a brand channel. Optimizing this brand channel is entirely different while adding your videos to your, uh, uploading your videos to the certain videos. Always make sure that <coughs> the company always carries a brand channel or a brand face. In the, when people used to see, they just uh, not only look at the videos and they'll just see which company or which person or which brand has uploaded the video and how it's been, uh, how does it look and everything and always automatically they, they will try to be important and you can just uh, automatically mention uh, for example targeting any location specified, you can just automatically mention the, your service or a product service along with the location which this helps for your channel or a videos in the longer runs. You can always change the look and feature of your videos and including the place. Suppose if you are adding more videos for particular related to the like series, web series and episodes, always creating a playlist will, all, will help you to get more views in the longer durations. And setting the future videos is also the one of the major things and automatically playing this will be also leading you more views. For example, when you, when you go to your brand channel in YouTube, okay. there is an option when people come to the channel, automatically the featured video will automatically play instead of the click, click play button. Okay, so it, uh, it will not... It will be considering as a additional views for your brand channels. Okay. Actually, they create the playlist by default, so if you have like five or six videos, so generally it happens like you play a video and it ends, then the person has to select the next video. Right. But the moment you create a playlist, right. the six videos will play as if they are playing. Well, once, it, once it once en so ends, and another one is like when you are uploading the video, the, always the uh, top new video will comes on the top main thing. Even that is also been uh, in the channel settings, you can automatically set this as automatically played. Yeah. So that instead of the uh, providing the users to click the option, you can just mention uh, automatically you are showing the what you want the users to show be shown. Okay, my, my understanding was when these are playlists, it will come in the right side, right? Like no, uh, for, a, for a brand channel, okay. uh, there is a different widget which actually no, you can, uh, the video and... Uh, no, brand channel is what? I am just, uh, I am not paying anything, you know, I am just a user who is... Yes, no, you can uh, change this uh, user interface settings uh, along with your dashboard, you can just choose whether your playlist should be come in the below of your videos or the side bus no, of the videos no, and everything. The next question is that uh, he is using YouTube as a user. Yeah. But if you use YouTube as a 
uh, uh, channel, uh, like you create your own YouTube channel and you upload your own videos right. there. Well, I'm, I'm not a corporate, I'm just saying I'm a, I, I have created my account, I have uploaded lots of videos. When I create a playlist, my understanding is that it comes on the right side. Usually it comes right side. Or as you said, that we can customize it, we can... Apart from it. that also, you have one page for yourself called the channel page. Yes. 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 So it goes like youtube.com slash user slash whatever name right. you have selected. Right. So on that thing, you will have, apart from your playlist, other relate, your other videos related, etc. Plus your write-ups, everything will be there. Yeah. But what he's saying, it automatically starts playing. If you come and see my thing, it will, yeah. like yes. once you play one no, no, that is when you click on the playlist video. For example, when you log, uh, log in to launch uh, your brand channel, there is an option to click on the featured videos. When you change your background. That you can automatically uh, change to automatically play the video when the user comes to your brand channel. Like And always... Uh, <coughs> always make sure you always add your business name on the channel. So for, for example, recently I met one of the doctors who is uh, doing a retinoplasty in Mysore. Whereas instead of mentioning his name or uh, what he wants, he just uh, randomly mentioned uh, the 39687 or any of the ra random numbers with the alphanumeric one. But once it's been done and once you have been uploaded the videos, it can't be changed when the YouTube takes the, uh, that as a username. One thing that uh, I just want to understand, when you say business name for name, yeah. generally when you want to create a YouTube account, yeah. uh, you, you need to have a Google or a Google account. But yes. Google account does not take any other thing, like if I want no, to No, you can, for example, uh, I have my other YouTube account, whereas you can change, while well, you are creating your YouTube channel, uh, YouTube account, there will be an option where you can use change your username to the YouTube itself in the settings. For example, as uh, myself, Shankar, I can have my like social media in Bangalore as a YouTube channel with the same user logins. Just you need to change the username while creating the account for while the YouTube. creating the account, but once once it's done, you can't change it. Okay. And uh, in the right hand side, always there will be an option where you can add about your what is your channel about, and you, where you can mention your website and social networking links, where people can click on that and they can easily able to find you. Apart from the video channels, what you do and what you interactions is going on your social networks. And uh, as I said, adding a channel description always will mention what is this channel about. For example, TechCrunch. It tells about the market surveys or the product resources and everything. Like this, if you always mention what is your channel about, it helps in the niche category to get more results in the longer runs. As of now, what we have did is like we have added a YouTube, Facebook, and the Twitter page along with the Google Plus links. But whereas in the com coming to the search engine point of view, these links will be always be the no follow ones. But I mean the people can click on the back end like robots don't crawl this as links for your channel. It's not an advantage, right? No, it is an advantage for your user. For your user. You, you are telling what is your channel about and where people can find you apart from the YouTube channel. You can be like your Facebook page, your Twitter page or Google Plus profile or your website or any place where you, where you can automatically uh, get them to. Well, uploading the videos is another thing. Adding, a, by uh, giving the annotations to the videos, it's like linking to one video to the another video, or providing uh, any source of information what you want the users to give. This will uh, you should always make sure that if you are providing annotations, maximum within 30 to 40 seconds, you need to pro uh, do provide the information what you are wanting the video. Sorry, the person to. It can be like clicking to other channel or you can be giving the offers or it can be done in any other part or also like uh, giving much more information and everything you can just mention like share us in the social networking or anything whereas in the share us in the social networking 
adding an annotation is uh, always advantage but mentioning in the videos at the ending of the last 10 or 20 sec uh, seconds will yield more results this has been even been mentioned by the youtube itself so those video annotations what you are talking are the, uh, like when you are playing the video the information text yes. information that pops up on yes. the video itself yeah so that should come with, uh, within 20 seconds no Maximum within 40 seconds, what information you want to give the users. But, uh, uh, but yeah. it's sometimes annoying, right? It's like no, some, yes, ad. it is annoying, but whereas you, if you see the most of the channels who do this thing, huh. they used to add only lesser annotations. Rather than uh, adding uh, 10 to 15 annotations, will always make the user annoying and you will always switch off this annotation in the video itself. I'm sorry, but there's a strategic way of using annotation. So when you say, hi, my name is Ragwa, I'm from so and so, okay? So you can immediately throw your phone number as an annotation and contact me over here on email ID. And when you go on to- This is a, this, a, this, no, actually it is a four type. One is in stream, in search, in display, and uh, full view, these things. This are under, uh, this will automatically apply for, you can control these things in your monetization settings or each and every video settings. So you, you mean to say for each and every video we can control these settings? Yes. Yeah, they are plugins like iBlog. No, uh, yeah, there are plugins. Suppose if you are uh, going through the YouTube, you can control this in uh, each and every video settings itself. iBlogger doesn't block the video settings. They just block the... Uh, so how you can block uh, the ads? Because I don't think you can block an ad, right? No, you, ca no, you can't block an ad. Suppose... Uh, blocks the ad that comes before the video live, like that, that is annoying, that you can't skip that ad, it blocks that ad. No, in video ads, as, as of now, there is no uh, method screen, where you can block the ads itself. Then you cannot in the stream, is it, it doesn't even in the stream. Just, no, what, what are the things which is before the starting, what are the ad is? Pardon? What that, 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 that comes before the one is uh, that, uh, comes as like a yeah. overlay yeah. ad which you can close. The second is when you are playing and in between they put the full screen video and you can skip it. The next one is a full screen video to start with which you can skip. So there are like three or four different types of videos. Maybe one one next stream is only one. Yes. Uh, this uh, monetizable view, views will be always applicable for the persons who are have a partnership account with YouTube and uh, <coughs> they can uh, automatically change to the settings or they can automatically for example if I want to monetize all my videos which I am uploading in the future you can just in the set channel settings itself you can be able to do that. While you are do, uh, many people will upload autumn videos that is related to each and every product survey or anything. Always making a videos related to certain sections is in a playlist will all uh, make the users to get the information will be always helpful in the while providing in the scattered way. For example, we do a, a diabetes series. We have uh, done a diabetes series where people can watch the videos related to diabetes in the entire playlist instead of going on each and every channel sorry in, instead of go, going on each and every video of the channel itself and always when we used to uh, always mentioning the social signals will always be in benefit you can just uh, tell in the video or in the annotation share us with your share share your feedback and everything it can be mentioned in the comments facebook or twitter this will also help you in the getting more views or spreading more viral for your channel itself. Uplo uploading after uploading your videos, uh, you need to always see where the people are coming from and how much time they are spending on your video and what time they are skipping and everything. This will always help to strategize your video for the next levels itself. As I said, uh, uploading a videos in YouTube channel or uh, adding your own video channel in the third party hosting, this is always a pros and cons. For self hosted videos, you can always get a rich snippets. Where uh, recently the Yoast has been providing uh, the rich snippets for your for the WordPress these things, where you can automatically get the rich snippets form 
for your website. A rich snippet is, um, for example, when you search for any term, you will be automatically getting the website name, like a breakdown structure to the video, this thing, or a content, this thing, so that it will always help to get more views for your site as well as the videos itself. But are these uh, rich snippets provided only for those videos that uh, uh, this is, I'm, uh, monetized uh, with uh, No, no, I'm just, or? this is for the self-posted videos where you, you can control over it. You can add the rich snippets. Like, you know, it has a different, different type. Like, whether it's like, you know, you have a video website, it has a different kind of a rich snippet, or if you have a, you know, a music website, then it have a, like, you know, different kind of a... Just uh, change the look and user interface of the videos, video channel views. This is not on YouTube, on uh, this or all, on your own domains. And you can build links to your own domain. Uh, this is through the embeddings and everything. And when you come to the YouTube, when the, uh, there's a 99% of the cases that your videos will always rank higher than your own domains or your websites itself. Because the main reason is your, the videos has been, uh, first of all, automatically uploaded in YouTube. When the people will click automatically, they go to the YouTube channel, not your website channel. That is the main reason that your, web, the, your YouTube channel will always get more publicity than your own website. But how Yeah. Uh, to to your videos. your third party site or uh, I mean like YouTube, YouTube. Okay. And I created a channel and I uploaded hundred videos. Okay. So for example, after like you know, uh, two three months I come to know that band, is it possible that if it is banned, can I get the videos back? Because I might be not saving it, right? No, for example, uh, you need to have the raw source file in your system or any other place. Suppose if the channel or the video is being banned, right. you'll be automatically getting a mail why it is being banned or uh, there'll be like certain uh, links telling that you need to uh, take a necessary actions and everything. Right. And whereas uh, so, <coughs> there is, uh, this is one of the cases where we are being, uh, similarly facing. Suppose if you are being using a royalty free music also, sometimes your ads doesn't approved and they'll automatically st stop monetizing your video ads also. This is for the YouTube channels. If, uh, to get that back, there is a rigorous uh, process where you need to fill up the applications and everything. It may take even 15 days, one month or even uh, three months to get that approved from YouTube itself. So basically it is not uh, uh, like 100% you know, guaranteed that it is safe, right? I should keep a backup. Yeah, you, you should always keep a backup. So go to the raw files. No, what is uh, no, what is mentioning is he is uploaded the, the approx hundred videos and suddenly his videos. No, he can, he can make it private. What if the channels or the videos has been banned? See, you work for one year on awful videos and then like one fine day you come to know that it is banned. And I, considering that it's a video, I might be not having as much space as what... Uh, no, it can be in the YouTube? No, no. In my uh, yeah. system, I might not keep it. I might upload everything in, uh, like for example, YouTube and keep. Yeah. One fine day I come to know that it is banned. So, my, uh, is there a way... Uh, there's a, uh, there's a, there'll be a lot of application process where you need to go and submit for the YouTube asking, uh, stating that you are the copyright owner and you have the, all the rights to access to get it back from them. That is the only one way. But it's better to have backups. It's better to have backups. You will not get it. Yeah, but it, 90% uh, you can't get it. Okay, but one way which I'm asking is like when I upload video, I don't know if this is correct or I never done it. That yeah. Is, uh, I might create a 3 4 account. Yeah. And like uh, I upload in one. And uh, the second uh, 2 3 account also I upload and keep it. Yeah. But uh, I don't know what, how, whether uh, YouTube allows so it. It's the same video. I know three places. If one account is blocked, probably. You know, if. I think that's a good thing. 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 I think that
Yeah, what you can just uh, like uh, example like Instagram where everybody was using uh, the images and everything where they can yes. uploading for free of course. Suddenly Instagram made uh, sudden changes and studying that who are uh, uploading the images or uh, videos or any type of things. You uh, Instagram has rights to sell them. That's why you should always have uh, you need to always have a keep a backup for the videos or the raw source files. SEO mods or you, uh, another channel like TechCrunch has been taken your video embedded in their site yeah, or Mashable sure. or anything? Oh. Open YouTube now, here and show the people. Oh, sure. Unfortunately, I can just uh, show you the details in the offline itself. And while, uh, for example, if you're uh, having uh, your own channel as well as your own website, ap uh, in, apart from embedding your videos to your pages, you can have your web, uh, media sitemap, it's like a video sitemap where you can automatically upload <coughs> through the WordPress plugins or you can just create, there are a number of uh, applications available online where you can create and add, add them to the Google Webmaster tools where you can tell uh, like what is the actual problem if uh, there is any conflict occurs over to the channels as well as the site so that you can automatically resolve it easily. This will also help for you in the longer runs. So, so uh, with respect to the site map, which is more uh, reliable and more uh, Result oriented. Just submitting a site XML or doing XML. XML, XML is uh, is always the best for the no, site. Not with the media RSS as such. No, like media RSS is uh, automatically. Well, uh, for example, we have a WordPress site. We use a Google Video Site plugin. This plugin automatically transfers the some of the elements to MRSS automatically, so that it uh, makes a little bit easier things to automatically track them. Suppose if you are using a PHP or any ESP or any uh, this type of site, adding this MRSS will automatically depend upon your developer how you need to little bit encode them. Uh, like uh, you can tell the encoding, like you can tell like uh, length of the video or the image of the video. Hmm. This kind of things will automatically come in the media RSS things. Okay. Now, why I was asking because if you are running a, a 
dynamic uh, kind of website which is more article oriented or a news uh, oriented yeah. or running a blog which gets updated on a daily basis and uh, then media rss makes uh, no this makes is for only videos no, whereas the content okay. things content things there is a normal sitemaps where you can automatically use that yeah and this uh, whenever you are uploading or any videos for in the wordpress for example in wordpress automatically this uh, media rss will automatically get generated and automatically it'll update uh, your webmaster things so there's a different plugin for media rss yes so, okay. i have a question uh, sure. you know we use wordpress for blogging yeah now you have those tags so almost uh, same whereas, whereas example in your wordpress dashboard you are uh, writing the uh, tags yeah. related to your topic which you create <coughs> whereas in the videos is almost the same we are uh, adding the tags related to your videos whereas when you come, when you are adding this videos uh, in your own channel and you are adding the rss uh, media rss things automatically this uh, there is a back end where you can automatically see the the developers automatically knows that where it will automatically mention video tags and the name of the tags automatically and uh, implementing this is uh, almost full for the full standards where i have been mentioned always mention the keywords in the file name and the uh, url this for the brand things and the keywords for the link of the text for the file for example if anybody wants to download the video or the they want to contact you or the uh, more information for the video instead of mentioning a large url you can just mention a short url where they can land to your page or your website where you can they can provide you can provide more information about them and this is a uh, entry metadata for example keyword title description is always the most important this is the for the fifth one is for the website for example when you are adding uh, any content along with the video or only a video you can automatically mention the video tags will autom will yield boost uh, sorry will boost the more results for you and if you are using a third party site uh, which i'm going to share the links in the, in, uh, the upcoming slides they'll be automatically providing you the backlinks to your website and ratings always uh, make sure that uh, the ratings will uh, good for your site the ratings you can just tell in the comparison of products how the products is uh, or the products you are serving for your clients is like that the same thing instead of the product you here you are serving the videos for your users and how the information you they are getting from uh, used on this basis uh, user ratings will all, will always make sure of what type of video you want to go for the next ones for example if you uh, produce uh, and uploaded a video which you are not getting proper ratings and uh, people are disliking it and if you are going for the same series there will be a totally flop things whereas uh, when you are uh, when people are liking and they are giving good ratings and if you go for the next series of the same thing you can expect much more results for these things as a, a yeah i have a good question uh, like sometimes youtube will ban the monetization on any particular video yes it's stating that this is a copyright violation or whatever it is yeah however in case if the video has been shot by you and it is an exclusively available only with you even then also you youtube can take such a stand yes it, so? yeah it will it will take a stand it depends upon the background music one uh -huh. or the, you can you have provide you have been failed to provide uh, credit to the users or like you can tell the creative comments or uh, anything you, you, youtube says that i want to have a letter so obviously one of my video which is exclusively available from microsoft i cannot go and ask letter from uh, you know that microsoft ceo we give me the letter of your interview session that is a that is a problem from the youtube itself even we are we have been also facing the same problem with them and the, there is a application process that, 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 is, that is one of the best video which is being most uh, and now there is no monetization on that yeah for that you need to uh, even if you file the application also no you need to out. there is no way to get out you need to uh, shoot a mail uh, to the any contacts in your youtube uh, persons or even there is no 99% there is no chances to get back if there is a, you need to provide a written document if there is a, if you provide a written document it will take some time more than 30 to 45 days to get back to your reply 
as i previously in the previous slide uh, always mentioned that adding a video setup for your uh, to help your search engines to find your videos in the webmaster tools in the longer run will be always yielding a good results i am yeah sure Uh, it doesn't, uh, you need to change the main key elements for the videos. However, if you are keeping the same things, uh, same elements also, it doesn't matter because you are uploading on two, two different domains, not in the single ones. Like in SEO, we find duplicate kind of issues. Yes. Same way it will be uh, harmful to us. Yes, but uh, actually, you are, whereas you are uploading the videos, uh, it will be under in the same, under one brand name, but in the two different domains, so that it doesn't conflict each and everything often. <coughs> Always uh, uploading the videos and making monetization is not a, uh, is a uh, best part, but you should always have a goals while you are uploading, what you want the users to see, and what you want to gain from them. Always making goals in the videos is a, uh, Make sure you can just uh, suppose if you are uh, doing in the third parties of your own uh, domains, you'll be getting a rich snippet. That is the one one kind of major goals. And if you are using a uh, YouTube, you can just uh, sell your product where you can where they can land to your product channel to the external site. This thing, this is uh, this is a new option where it's been available for the merchant accounts. Is, like for example, Flipkart, Jungly. This kind of uh, sites has been uh, settings has been enabled for this kind of things, and brand awareness. This can be done uh, through a YouTube channel or your own channel, and uh, links and social shares will be always the main goals for your videos and channels. We always have mentioned like having a goals. You can uh, add even uh, add a. Uh, videos to improve your conversions to your products or your services it can be brand awareness uh, to create uh, your for your strategies among the uh, channels for your name you can do the paid advertising in the youtube channels at the cheaper price for your brand channel so you can just get more views more subscriptions for your videos and everything and you can, uh, apart from that, you can drive links to sh uh, share back social shares to your company site. For example, we have uh, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and uh, Google Plus, where we can automatically add on the right hand side of a channel where people can automatically land to our this thing. This is the third party hosting where, uh, if you don't want to use the YouTube, this is the third party site links where you can uh, sites where you can automatically get the packages where you can upload your videos and everything apart from this the, uh, there are some of the sites where you can or when you automatically upload your videos you can get the transcript for free of course for example uh, widler is a uh, widler and wizard is uh, automatically providing this source that you can uh, once you upload your video you can just uh, transcript the video content to a text so that the people who are uh, automatically we, we, who are using videos can automatically copy paste the text to their uh, own external sites or for their own references. And uh, what else? As I said, are the starting mobile mobiles is always the major one of the major concerns in India as well as global. Where uh, in Asia. In Asia, more people are taking uh, the technology uh, video views is being uh, overviewed by the mobiles. Suppose uh, this is for the one of the third party hostings. Suppose if you are uh, using the Widler, Visa, or Visa or anything, you should always make sure that the videos, the people who are watching, you should give them a proper size or the uh, speed where they can use your videos at the limited uh, time uh, speed of spam. You know, as of now, YouTube provides a greater speed and everything. 
and uh, the one more thing is like you, uh, if you are in the YouTube automatically the, depending on the screen size uh, resolutions automatically the video resolution automatically changes to the best quality and even the content well you are uh, the content when compared to the normal side to the mobile side the mobile side content uh, the size has to be always much more bigger for this thing audios will be always the major problems in the video optimization for example in the mobile uh, sometimes you can't hear properly what the person or the product or the what the video is uh, informing about you need to make sure this audio is always most visible sorry usable for the people as of now even youtube is also confirmed that many and uh, none of the annotations are available for the mobile users in the future they are going to be uh, in future they will be making the annotations for the even mobiles as well as the tablet users even they including the smartphones and everything and uh, if you are using the third party you should make sure that video is always the shorter is always the better the maximum i can inform is like uh, for a product and everything you can mention that 3 minutes is always the good things but whereas uh, if you come to the music and uh, movies and everything people who are interested in the movies and everything they just skips the ads and uh, the videos and even the lens and everything they just keep moving on forward uh, one thing like yep. for example, if i create a video and uh, it's for uh, it's like it's a uh, like your time constraint and everything will be saved easily no but in youtube you need to send it i need not work two times no you need to work only once and uh, if you video once you give the raw feed it will actually create multiple copies of your same video and uh, depending on the device depending on the connection at which you are accessing depending on the display size it will give you the relevant feed but if you are using uh, like if you if you say uh, can i just uh, post a mp4 video uh, as a file on my own my uh, own domain and whether it will be optimized now okay. and so the case of uh, youtube i upload a video and uh, that means like actually automatically get optimized yeah without it, i doing any settings you don't have to worry about no you, you don't have to worry about, about once you optimize for your best level automatically youtube take care of uh, rest of the thing the user type. yes okay that's good so if you have a verified account you can even uh, upload unlimited data uh, initially like for uh, unverified account it's a limit of 15 minutes you cannot have any video which is and approx uh, maximum more, not more than 200 mb i yeah. believe as of now yeah. suppose if your channel uh, content partnership you can upload n number of videos and n number of uh, you can even then put the full length uh, videos but only thing you have to have a verified account and verification as on the phone what is and how long does it take the verification no it's a, suppose like, do they call you immediately or no it's an automated call no, it's a, it's not only automated call now the process has been made easy suppose if you are using your own videos and everything you are uploading uh, normally and there will be uh, when you log into your dashboard automatically there will be a pop uh, pop up coming that uh, if you want to join your content uh, partnership and everything there will uh, it will go to the external uh, support.google.com uh, where there will be application where you need to just fill up and why you need to do that once it's been done automatically within a maximum a week you'll be getting a confirmation stating that you have been uh, uh, into partnership that's just for the channel like uh, if you are running a e-commerce channel and then you are using it and for the monetization program because then it has to have that uh, confirmation but yeah. to upload the longer video uh, and to bypass that limit of 15 minutes to an unlimited storage it can happen immediately while you are yes. creating the channel you can say i just want to uh, remove this limit and uh, please i want to verify my account they will ask your phone number and uh, they will yes. send you a verification code uh, which you have to feed in and immediately what is what is the point of verification why do they do verification is like a simple things so for example as a normal user if you are taking from other videos and everything you will be having a certain limits so not more 15 minutes you can upload uh, other videos for example if you are producing your own genuine videos and everything for example it's if it's 20 minutes 30 minutes if it's been more than that you can add this things also even it uh, doesn't matter what size it is it's basically a user requirement uh, to make sure that you are not in the piracy business so uh, the moment you say i want to upload uh, more content 
okay, what is the way for Google to verify? It's only your IP. You can always spoof your IP. But uh, most of the countries have pretty strict requirement on giving you a telephone connection. So they have to have a verification mechanism in place. So it's like easy to catch your network. But you but even the, even after all these checks and all that, I see a lot of full length movies yeah. on YouTube. Or yeah. So why aren't they in trouble already? Uh, because no one is uh, saying that uh, this is a pirated video. No one so, reported it. Yeah, yeah. So if, unless uh, T-Series or Sony BMG comes and say, this is a pirated movie and we are losing money because of this, uh, frankly, they also want. Yeah. And automatically this can happen now, in the two ways. One is like for... When it comes to your, uh, your uh, TV, uh, for, why, why to prevent Oh, for example, so uh, as you said, is a good example. I can just. What is their logic of uh, wanting uh, to be pirated? Uh, let me tell you the answer for this. For example, you are using a T series video in your own channel where you have been uh, not uh, verified. And when T series launches a complaint stating that, okay, this person is uh, using my uh, our uh, my video, whereas you can't monetize the videos, but whereas the t what are the ads are coming for you uh, for the particular video, the T series can be monetized. The money will be so going will, for the T series. You will not be able to monetize. You will not be able to get the uh, share of the ad, ad uh, display there. Uh, in 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 that three three hour long because for that you have to join the channel partnership program for which you have to give your verification that okay I am actually the owner of this content. For for uh, T series or Sony BMG right now they just want uh, people to. Uh, watch these movies because in any case these movies are available for like 10 rupees DVD at uh, any corner. 10 rupees DVD? Yeah. On the road sides. Go to any shop like this. Go to Marthali Bridge, you will find 10 rupees DVD there. Oh my goodness. Basically, 60 rupees. There will be 12 movies there, so it works out to about 5 or 10 rupees per movie. Oh, I'm sorry, I can, no, I'm no. running off the low battery. Just a sec. Yes, we are doing it. Uh, we are uh, getting approximately more than uh, $200 per month of, for our own brand channel, which is I'm going to show you even a case study along with that. Think of what we've done and what we have been implemented so that it will be in your good results. So you are posting the videos for your own customers or you are running your own no, we are doing for, uh, we have, a, I work for a healthcare portal where we are doing a videos for uh, our users. Which uh, health? Hindil Health. Oh, okay. So, but nobody is monetizing Yeah, we are monetizing it. We are monetizing it. Yeah, but they are monetizing it. Per day we are getting approximately more than 30,000 views. Yes. Per day. Uh, yes, yeah, more yeah, than $200. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They are not in this room. <laughs> <laughs>